Good morning, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. Welcome to Good Mornings with Brian and Tyler. Today, as we continue to look at the principles of wealth and prosperity and blessing, we look at 2 Chronicles 35, 16 through 19. So all the service of the Lord was prepared the same day to keep the Passover and to offer burnt offerings on the altar of the Lord according to the command of King Josiah. And the children of Israel who were present kept the Passover at that time and the Feast of Unleavened Bread for seven days. There had been no Passover kept in Israel like that since the days of Samuel the prophet, and none of the kings of Israel had kept such a Passover as Josiah kept with the priests and the Levites, all Judah and Israel who were present, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. In the 18th year of the reign of Josiah, this Passover was kept. All right. So, <clears throat> Hezekiah had done a tremendous amount of reform. Um, Manasseh actually cleaned up a lot of the chaos that he himself did. Uh, but uh, you've got Josiah that as, as he comes in, he, he finds the book of law, chapter uh, 34, verse 8 says, in the 18th year of his reign, the book of the law is found. And it's an interesting thing to me that basically four centuries have passed. 400 years since they've kept the Passover. Um, basically, half the time that Israel's been a nation, they have not kept the Passover. Um, so, uh, a couple things on this that, that I, I want to say very quickly. First of all, quit when you read the Bible, quit talking about how the Jews had a history of being very dedicated to their religion and their faith. Um, that's totally false, okay? That is not the biblical witness, okay? Um, number one. Number two, um, Samuel, the last guy. Really, it wasn't kept during the time of the judges overall. Uh, this, when you want to know what level of character was Samuel and why was Samuel so upset, when the people rejected God as king and him. Uh, because Samuel was a guy who actually was trying to do things according to the book. Um, and even though the people complained and said, well, your sons aren't as good as you. Well, okay, fine. Uh, but you're as a nation, y'all are bad. Um, so really the next time before that then that we have is, is the days of Joshua. Um, you know, and so, uh, to me, Tyler, it's basically un unfathomable uh, that, that basically four centuries have gone. Here's the lesson, though, and this is one of those that people will argue with me. Are some of our neighbors in the denominations extremely well-blessed? Um and to, to what people would look like for being in error. Yes. Yeah. Here's the thing. The power of God's word is so great that if you'll get in line with it in some key areas, you can be blessed ridiculously abundantly. Um, most people watching, though, and, and you know, uh, yesterday on my LinkedIn, uh, someone raised a question about, you know, paying ministers too much money. And and the guy who replied, he said, you know, we preach, we study, we teach classes, we do ministry to the sick. We're on call basically 24-7, even on our vacations. da 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 da, da. He said, how much do you think that's worth? That you're concerned that someone might make? A, a wage that's equal to someone else that's say a realtor, a lawyer, or a banker. Because many people have been told things like Jesus was poor, all of these people God used were poor and of humble means. Um, that's a lie. Josiah was not poor and of humble means. Joshua was not poor and of humble means. Josiah, he realized they hadn't been keeping the word of the Lord. 
and Joshua and Samuel, all these guys, they kept the word of the Lord. Joshua was blessed all of his days. Samuel was blessed all of his days. Josiah becomes blessed. He wasn't a bad king, but now he's one. Now he's a genuinely good king. When you start going and bumping into the word of God in, in areas and you start applying it, the effects of that kick in regardless. Regardless. And so some of these good kings, they didn't do great stuff. They made just little minor tweaks and God blessed them for it. And, and where I want you to start this week out is this. Make some minor tweaks this week. Fix some of the easy stuff that you know you can fix. And see if God doesn't start to bring things to line out. Um, yeah, and tonight, tonight we'll look at uh, the doom of Josiah, which is his own fault. Has nothing to do with him being bad. Um, it just had to do with him being foolish. So we'll talk about that tonight. But little tweaks can sometimes bring about tremendous blessings. So some other thoughts, my brother? Yes, sir. With Adam Brian Reagan, this is Tyler Kelly. And we bid you good morning.